the most common problem with singing. Students can't keep a note stable and they don't know which note to go to. They're the two most common problems. Okay? So, let me tell you why scales will never solve this problem. Because usually scale exercises are done at a very fast speed. So, do, let's see. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And I can knock scales because I practice scales so I know how ineffective they are. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, we got that. So there's uh, each time a word happen or no changes, we're going to say one. Okay, it's like an accent. Da, 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 it's like a change, right? Now, let's say we take a song. Um, song. And I, I will always love you. Let's take that. So, and now, let me show you. This is the skill that you need to learn. And what makes more sense, doing a scale or doing this skill that I'm about to do? As I do it, have a think about it, okay? Let me show you that singing is much more complex than teachers make it out to be. That it's just scales up and down, okay? It's not what it is. Scales up and down is mainly, they mainly use it to increase your range not to actually help you sing beautifully and you don't need to sing high to sing beautifully singing high comes later it's not you don't need to sing high to sing beautifully you can sing low and be a great singer like I just sang that really low didn't I? I didn't sing it high and it sounds beautiful right? that's what you want to learn first you don't need to sing high yet let's go and I I didn't switch to falsetto by the way there. You it's not you that's falsetto. So you just can hear the difference. Okay. Now each one of these there's notes attached to it. We've got to learn those notes, right? And that's one note. And uh, and you have to learn how to hold the note. Uh, which is a skill in itself. And you have to learn how to do vibrato. Uh, that's like four vibrato bounces, so I'm going to count it as four. Three, four. There's a slide there. We've got a few notes happening there. All right, let me clean this up so it looks a bit nicer. Put this vibrato. Ah, wrecked the wrong one. Put this vibrato all together. Just put a V as in for vibrato. Will always. There we go. Whoop. All right, that's just one line. Love you. And I will oh that's a run there always another accent on the ways love you Ooh, 
vibrato. So I had four there for vibrato. Okay. I had a V there for vibrato. And this one will always, will always. And that's a run there. So you could just have like an R for run. All right. You don't need to write it this way. I'm just writing it this way for you to sort of see um, how, I, how you should meant to organize it in your mind. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, let's put a little legend. Okay, V equals vibrato. R equals run. Now, I'm just going to modify a little bit, right? Because it changes based on how long you hold a note, the way you say the vowel changes. So, let me show you. And uh, it becomes ah, uh, not I. You don't go and I. Uh, you go and uh, it becomes ah, uh, right? And uh, see, when it's held, it changes. Uh, e, uh, back to ah. Uh. And then right at the very end of it, at the end of the vibrato, I, you add the E so that it sounds like the word I. I, I. Right? We'll always love you. That's alright. And I, same thing there. We'll always love you. Okay. So, let's say you can't sing that high, right? You change it. And I, I will always love you. And I will, will always love you. Change the key to whatever your level is, okay? Change key to your level. Okay? You change speed to your level. So, and each one of these ones here, we're going to make sure you get them right before you start moving on, okay? Or we can approach it a different way where we sing all of them and then we go back and fix the ones where there's mistakes. You know what I mean? So maybe we could sing all this through and there's, let's count it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, in that one line 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 30, 30 sorry i'm distracted someone keeps screaming over there and i think it's like a baby it's a baby playing <laughs> 35 notes okay just in this chorus and that's not even the whole chorus 35 notes to learn and get accurate including runs and vibrato which are very fast and take a long time to build speed on okay so you got a few things there so what we do is we change the key so that it matches how high or low your voice is to match your current range okay and we change the speed to your level to match your ability to hear and copy pitch which is just sound with your voice accurately all right so we slow it right down until we can match it now what the hell does do re mi fa sol la ti do have anything to do with and I, I, love you and I will always love you what is learning a scale going up and down or learning even different vocalize they call them vocalizers right vocalizers or scales in Australia we use a s not a z that's why I'm spelling it that way but I don't care either way vocalizers or scales um, slash different patterns Okay, slash arpeggios, etc. Why the hell would you do that when you can sing the song broken down one note at a time and get it exactly accurate using changing the key and changing the speed to modify the current level that you're at? Please, teachers, this is the way we need to teach moving forward. This strengthens your voice when you slow down the note and 
Now for me, I got it first go, right? Because I, I've already practiced millions of reps. But for a beginner, just going and they can't really do it, okay? It's pretty tricky. They might get that note, but they might have some other note there that they have trouble with. And uh, they might go, and uh, that's a common problem, going flat, right? So you gotta go, and uh, but instead of going, and uh, they'll go, and uh, right? Now, exercises like these, scales, etc. If you did intervals, now I like doing intervals, that, that helps, that's a good one, like going, like that helps, that exercise, that's a great one. But why do the exercise? When you can use the song and make the song into an exercise. So thank you Whitney Houston and the writers of this song for a lovely song that we can be motivated to practice and then Thank you to the teachers that will adopt this way and then we can learn one note at a time and enjoy practice instead of singing things that aren't related to our practice. Yes, the scale will strengthen your voice, but the song will strengthen your voice better because it's strengthening it in relation to the exact words and notes that you're intending to hit when you perform. You understand? That's the big difference, which is why scales will never be enough because they can't train the exact song the right way the way that it's going to be in the end you know because every song is unique so we'll and then you can break down the vibrato and just do the vibrato alone uh, and just practice that by itself uh, spend five minutes on that and then spend five five minutes on the run always will oh, 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 oh. spend five minutes on that Okay, oh, and gradually get faster as you spend that five minutes. Um, and then the rest go note by note. And I, I will always trying to stay as straight as possible, still tone it's called, or straight tone. Always love you. If you can't do that, you have that's what you gotta work on. You gotta work on developing that section by section, one word at a time, one note at a time. If it's too easy, do one chunk at a time, like and uh, uh, like the whole line. And, and I, I will always that can be the thing that you practice, right? You go on your level and the teacher will tell you your level and the teacher will fix your mistakes. You never need to work on anything other than songs. Warming up, easy. Start at a lower key or drop the octave. There's your warm up. Sing it slower. There's already a warm up, right? Drop the key lower or, uh, like I just said, so if, if this song is, is a, if you even if you can sing it in the original key, drop it lower. That's your warm up. Sing it lower or sing the lower octave. Done. There's a warm up. And slowing down is a good warm up too because songs tend to move really quickly. It's, the warm up depends on your current ability. Okay, for me, a warm up will be singing like much faster than what a beginner would sing. For a beginner, I mean, they can't even go and I, I, they can't even do that, right? So for me, that's like that would be a warm up because it's easy, something easy. Something hard for me would be something that's really high. So I would warm up and then go into that gradually instead of jump right into it, or something really fast, like a super fast run. So I might gradually work into that by going slower first. So that takes care of your warm-up. You never need to do a special exercise or anything weird that's not a song. You only need to do a song and learn how to modify it. All right, guys. Hope this helps you understand how to work on a song and how to develop it to the point where it gets to a higher and higher level. All right, guys. I'm Rashid Hayek, rmbsinglessons.com. For my le for details on private lessons with me it's very affordable and uh, if you can't afford lessons I have hours and hours and hours of free material uh, on, on my website organized there or on my YouTube alright guys I'll see you next time